So who can tell me uh, how a, an eclipse happens? Hi, I'm Sally Feldman, a teacher at Washington Elementary School in Point Richmond, California. Elementary students are naturally curious. They love to learn about the world around them and they're more than um, eager to find out more about space. First of all, what are the three things that are um, objects in space that are involved in a solar eclipse? What are the three? To teach any subject in isolation, I think is a real mistake. And I think the richness of learning comes when you use all the areas of the brain. The sun is a natural topic to teach across the curriculum because there's the science connection, there's a lot of math that you can do, there's also cultural connections. Every single culture on the planet has a sun connection. And all along the way, we're all learning very sophisticated vocabulary that by the end of the unit, they're able to use uh, and own as their own words. I think learning coronal mass ejection, for instance, is uh, pretty sophisticated and exciting for children. All the molecules gather in the core to make the energy. The Eye in the Sky curriculum was developed by teachers and scientists working together. Good morning. Everything about the sun that we teach these children has been vetted by NASA scientists. But the language that we bring to the children and how we teach those lessons has been translated and presented to them in a way that they are able to learn at their level of learning. The other benefit is there are so many NASA products and materials available that really support the learning and bring it to life for the children. Thank you, Vivian. Another one? The lessons are put together in a series of lessons. One builds on the next lesson. The other wonderful thing about the curriculum is that it's standards-based. All of the lessons are tied to the national standards and everything in the lessons are what teachers need to be teaching and can be tied to other parts of the curriculum. All of the materials that you need should be available in a regular school. The worksheets are at eyeinthesky.org. All of the worksheets are available either in PDF or HTML. Very easy to print. Print them out, run them off, ready to go. Everything is free and everything is very teacher friendly. The moon is trying to keep up with the earth. Every student can learn. Every student in my classroom, whether they're a special education student, whether they're a regular learner, whether they're struggling, whether they're the top student in the classroom, they all learn something and they all are excited and feel like they have learned something important. That this is part of their life and that this is something they'll take with them for the rest of their life. It has given me the confidence to teach anything, anything that I want to teach. I am not a solar scientist. I had never learned about the sun until I started working with this curriculum. It's just a win-win situation for all of us.